Welcome to Live on KEXP. I'm your host, DJ Morgan, from Listener Powered Independent 90.3 FM KEXP. We stream all over the world at kexp.org and our free mobile apps. We are so excited to be live here at the Thing Festival in beautiful Port Townsend, Washington at Fort Warden State Park. We've been here for three days and we're so excited to start day three off strong with the supremely talented Casa overall. We have a live audience here as well. How are you guys doing? So glad to have you here and so excited to hear this performance. It's Casa Overall live on KXP from Thing Festival. When everybody falling, uh, don't get up on it. In love, love with the shiny thing. thing. I never seen a love as strong as human need. There's never enough as far as you can see to build these golden handcuffs for you and me. The jewelry is woo! They gotta shine to it. I can get it if I put my mind to it. Uh, I'm not tripping off of little shit that ain't Big things popping out a little zip. I need my contract with a couple zips in the full fit. Hey, just to tell the truth, with the full pit, that this is all just bullshit. Should I get it even if it's with a full clip? Should I get it even if it's with a full clip? Should I get it even if I gotta sell a woo? Money, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Never seen a hate as great as jealousy. There's never enough to make us please. To see that he got more than me, I might have to make him bleed. They got to shine to it. When everybody falls, don't you go falling in love with, with the shiny thing. thing. Hey, I never seen another way. We all look the other way. Power is what power does. Hope it don't devour us. Gotta get it. They gotta shine to it. I can get it if I put my mind to it. They gotta shine to it. I can get it if I put my mind to it. Are you ready to ball? Hey! Are you ready to ball? They gotta shine to it. I can get it if I put my mind to it. KEXP! Uh. I 
practice too long to not take a drum solo. Shouts out to Vitamin D. Say try me. Find me. Say try me. Within the sound of silence. that learns the lessons you teach yourself. The bowing butler, here's the secret. Within the sound of silence. Within the sound of silence. Within the sound of silence. be okay. It was written 
much. That was Benji Alance on percussion, Tomoki Sanders on sax, Ian Finkelstein on keys, Julio Xavier on bass. Let's get into this last joint. I'm trying to make my way back home, you feel me? Shout out to Seattle. To block out vision Still feel the tremble of a victim I swallow my arrogance Do the math of a mismarriage Plus a couple miscarriages Dreams never came true Family that I never knew Who? Plus a couple hating too Now the music is my therapist We talk it out every night in the booth Trying to repair this sh All trying to break free like a bird in the wind Cause we all going home in the end But you could cry to your mama She don't want no drama uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. I've been washing on my karma uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Got me working like a farmer Trying to make my way back
peace. Casa overall live on KXP. That was so good. Wow. <laughs> Can we give some extra love for the band too? Wow. So talented. <laughs> what a band. That was amazing. You can do about 10 more songs. That's cool with me. <laughs> Casa, it is amazing to have you back live on KXP. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. It's, that was a lot of fun. We've been running around on tour, as you could probably feel. We got a lot of energy bubbling out, so it's yeah. good to get it out. Absolutely. Playing some songs from the new album Animals and uh, a track from the 2020 record, I think I'm good as well in that set. And... Uh, Casa, when I was I was reviewing the the last session that you did with us back in 2020, and I realized uh, you were there just like just days before the world shut down with COVID. You were like one of our last live in studios before everything shut down. That's true. Yeah, we're um. Had you been living in New York at that time, and yeah. you were just like in Seattle for for shows? Did you get Did you end up like getting not stuck, but did you end up having to like pause in Seattle because of that? Basically. Oh, wow. um, that was uh that was the end of a short tour. We went to Tokyo and and uh it was already a murmur in Tokyo. People were washing their hands and stuff. And yeah. then we came back and we did a West Coast run. That was the last date. And uh it was a crazy feeling because the I Think I'm Good album was actually like it's getting a lot of steam, it was picking up, you know, and then like a week and a half after that it was like every news outlet was like, Who cares about albums? Right. You know what I mean? And, right. uh, yeah, so I came back to Seattle and uh, pretty much been there ever since, on and off. You know what I mean? Since that time, been back home a lot, hence the, the last song title. Yeah, yeah, you're from Seattle. We are so lucky to have you <laughs> as part of our vibrant music scene here in the Pacific Northwest. Thanks for having me. And, uh, you know, you were in New York for a long time, but we're, we're just so glad that you are back home. How, how's it been being back home? It's been great. You yeah. know, um, I think that, you know, after being in New York for almost 15 years, you, you get back and you feel a little bit like, oh, like I'm missing out on whatever, you know, the scene. But I think that um, for me, being in Seattle was really like a time to go into my own space and take it slower and focus on the things I need to focus on. So in a way, I was able to get a lot done. Yeah. Just kind of being in the cut. Not that Seattle was like that, you know, but for me, it was like I could hide out here and nobody knows where I am exactly. In the upper left corner. Exactly. <laughs> That's good. Uh, did you did you spend that slower time working on Animals, the new album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, How long did that, that whole process take? Because, you, you know, it that was three years ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, longer than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I Think I'm Good came out on February 28th, 2020. And I was like, all right, got to get an album out by October, you know? Right. And uh, something about writing songs during that period where the world is changing every two weeks. And um, you, can't, you can't put out anything that's not going to be relevant later. So a lot of the songs I had to keep rewriting and re re-responding oh wow you know and so yeah. all the songs on animals for me had to pass a test of like timelessness you know like what is this what is this going to mean in 2030 or in 3010 or whatever you know what i mean totally do you yeah. have do you have an example of a song that you really had to change for a specific reason uh make my way back home actually uh i made that beat right around that period you know, and um, I did the hook and I knew the hook was right, but I had this lyric and um, my actually my lady, Lauren DuGraff and the co-producer on the record, you know, she was like, yo, the, the verse, you like, you really got to say something that means something, you know? So it's like, I liked the verse, but I kept changing lines and changing lines. And that verse didn't get finished until maybe August of, 2022. Wow. You know, and I re-recorded multiple full song concepts, you know, and it just, as the world changes, you're just like, man, I can't say anything that's like um, cotton candy, you know what I mean? Right. Like, so you keep cutting out the filler and trying to get to the point, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, you achieved it. This album is amazing. It's uh, such an exciting blend of sounds. And uh, there's a lot going on in, in every song. There's so many layers to it. I'm, I'm curious how you approach songwriting, especially when there's all these components going on. How do you, how do you write a song from, from scratch? Uh, well, first, I would say I don't write a song from scratch. Yeah. You know what I mean? It all, it all comes from somewhere. It's all highly co collaborative. Um, shout out to my band, uh, Benji Alance on percussion, on congas, Tomoki Sanders on sax and, and percussion, Ian Finkelstein on keys, Julio Xavier on bass. And, um, you know, all the musicians around me are, are I'm, I'm throwing ideas back and forth with them and writers. And um, as far as the process goes, you ever see those like, um, I don't know if it's archaeologists or whatever, but where you see these layers of soil. Yeah. It, you know, I remember from school, like in science class, you just had these layers and they're like, this layer is 3,000 years ago. And this, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And here's the lava. Uh, it's kind of like that, you know? So I have song ideas that I might have started in college and then I'll revisit it six years later and everything will be corny except the melody. Mm -hmm. Or everything won't work except, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you just keep relayering and revisiting. You got to give it time, let it sit, let it cool off, come back, taste it. <laughs> you know, new new seasonings have been invented. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. The geological record of your of your songs. Yeah. That'd be a good <laughs> album title. <laughs> That's how it feels. Yeah. Um, Animals has a lot of guest performers, too, from Danny Brown to Lil B to Nick Hakeem, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. How did you decide who you wanted to collaborate with as guest performers on this record? And sometimes you're, you're pairing people, too. And I'm also interested, um, how, how do their parts fit into your songs? Are they freeform and you kind of slot things in that come in organically, or are you kind of guiding it? Uh, yeah, I'd say I guide it very lightly. You know, like I'm not very, I'm not like, I need this exact thing. You know, especially when you're working with artists of that caliber, if you call one of them to work on a song, you're trying to get them and their genius and their intelligence and their spirit. So the best way is to keep it open, you know? But um, I would say similar to the way I make beats, what I'm always trying to do, if I hear a sound like a, a drum loop or something, I'm trying to pair it with something that's it's never really been paired with before to see can I get a sound that kind of excites me, right? So uh, with, a, with a feature, it's kind of similar, you know, like the fact that Danny Brown is on a song with Chris Davis and Stefan Crump, you know, those are like two of the heavyweight avant-garde musicians in New York, you know, and you would never think that they would be on a song with Danny Brown or, um, you know, that kind of thing. Like Craig Taborn with Little B, you know, like, come yeah. on, man, that's crazy, you know? So that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Like uh, ever since I had a, a donut with bacon on it, like in the <laughs> early 2000s, I was like, yeah, that's the vibes. Crossing unlikely flavor combinations. Exactly. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so last question. Here's a fun one for you. Speaking of collaborators, if you could collaborate with anyone in all of time and space, living or past, who would it be? Ooh. <laughs> would they be like, would they be down? Would they be like, yo, I love your music. I want to do something with of you. Of course. Yeah. Um, that's so hard. <laughs> you know, I got asked this question before and I literally passed on it because it seems for some reason it's such a hard question. Yeah. But uh, just to be weird, I'm going to say like, Einstein. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, what sounds can he make with... I'm saying, you know, I'd be like, yo, yeah. so look, this is how you chop a beat. And I'd be like, so what could we do to take this a little more advanced? You know, and oh, he'd be like, yeah. well, if we take this mathematical equation, you know what I mean? Like, if we yeah. could get some Einstein level, maybe he just mix and master the song even, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. something like that. If Einstein had access to a synthesizer during the time he was alive, what music would he make? 
Exactly. That would be incredible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Thank you. <laughs> Casa, overall, thank you so much for being here today. That was absolutely amazing. Huge thanks to the band as well. And thanks to all of you for watching and listening today. There are more performances on the way live here from Thing Festival uh, for the rest of today's streaming live on our YouTube channel. You can support all of these sessions by making a donation at kxp.org slash live. And again, thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank this, you. This has been Casa Overall live on KXP. Peace. Discover great music at kexp.org.